now we are inside our admin folder and now we and as previous lesson we saw how a user can access admin's home page without accessing without login the account like here we just wait just wait it's opening okay here it is now okay so now we want to stop unauthorization access to admin area so if any user want to access any of the page inside of the admin panel they need to log in first after that they can access all of the page so for this uh, first of all we will create a file inside our admin folder first of all i i will open my admin folder and then inside php includes i will create a new folder called check login.php so this file will check the login for the user for each page wherever we will include this file check login.php and the code is already av available on tutorial villa as uh, it should be like uh, it should be available on tutorial villa for my previous project as called binary i should open this file first but i forgot to open this okay so we don't need to be we don't need to waste our time just we can copy the code from here just we already created there uh, stop unauthorizing access to admin area and here we will do this okay great so here we should okay okay we do not have code here we should have the code for our user panel we can use that user one also right so the code is here just copy and paste it to our uh, file and here it is we just paste it now we have to check what information we stored at the login time for the admin so i will open the login file of our admin and the login fi file of our admin admin is stay one folder up it is called index.php in index.php as you should know we stored user admin and a login type as admin so we can check for both of these variable if both of these variable is exist at in our session so that it means admin is logged in so i will just check it here and we can copy the name user id underscore admin and just put it here session user admin and the login type should be admin now if both of this value is exist then it means it's okay otherwise we will show access denial and the user will be go into index.php and now if i now it is done now if i refresh the home page okay first of all i need to log out i just click on log out now i i am in index.php and now if i try to open the home.php from the url bar as you can see i can still access the home page because now we have to, we have to include the the check login file to our home page also so i will open the home.php file of admin here is my home.php file it, okay okay here it is my home.php file and and i will just add it here like require because this is very require require the for the file is inside php includes folder slash check login dot php now we have required the check login dot php if i refresh the page now finally we are refreshing the page and you are access denied to access the page without login so i want to show you again if i try to open the home page it will not allow us it will show an error access denied so now we have to log in first so the access was admin at tutorial villa dot com password was one two three four five six just click on login button 
and now as you can see we are on home page so our admin is a little bit square now okay okay another thing i forgot another thing i forgot there is a mechanism to stop the redirection uh, few of the hacker can use that so you can make this system a little bit square uh, secure so what you can do inside check login.php in anyhow you have to print the exit function because if someone expert in cyber security they can block this window.location.assign function from by disabling the java script from the browser yes they can so in that case if a user will open the admin panel from the url bar that is home.php uh, uh, it is a home page of the admin panel and they will stop the javascript for that browser in that case our javascript function that is called window.location.assign will not will not work and this will not this will not take the user to index.php file and also i i just need to put this file inside the else condition only because if the session value is not available then the user will redirect to our index file in in the case where any user or any cyber security expert if block the javascript for browser our php file will exit here so that in anyhow they will not be able to access the file so first of all i will sh i will show you how it work if any if in a case if somehow a cyber security expert or a hacker block your javascript by from the browser so it will exactly work like this in that case okay first first i need to see you if the javascript has blocked so how it will work it will like a, first of all i need to log out from the system to show you now now if i try to open the admin home page from the url var home.php you can see that i can still access the admin home page so for this what i can do i will put a exit function here so the exit function will exit the page and will not go any further so now if i refresh the page okay 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 it should exit or, or it should die okay as you can see it is working now the page exits exit so any of the content of of admin area i uh, i will not be able to uh, see if i disable the javascript from my browser so there is <coughs> there should be a several ways to disable javascript in browser like uh, disable javascript in chrome and there you will see a several ways to disable javascript from the from the from your browser there are several videos on there are several articles there is given so to so to prevent that you also need to put the exit function here and also we will do the same for our user panel so i will also open so first of all uncomment this echo and also open the check login for our user for file also and so i will go one folder above and inside my user folder i will open and again inside php includes folder i will open my check login.php and and here i also also will put exit function so that anyhow javascript will block the page will not work anymore so thanks for watching this video in the next tutorial we will manage the even request in our admin panel thank you